So guys, I am back with another Power World video and you guys know me when it comes to creating those bases. I absolutely love what's on offer here in Power World. Today guys, I showcase to you my fully built castle. Check that out. Before we go any further, guys, I'm giving away a couple of copies of this game or any game of your choice. To be in the chance of winning one, simply drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, and make sure you are subbed. With those notifications turned on, winners are picked from the comments section of my Power World videos and announced at the end of the week, so good luck. Okay, so if you guys have caught any of my previous base videos, I actually built a base. My initial base was two bases side by side, literally two bases side by side. Now guys, I've gone one a little better. I've done three bases, literally side by side, all connected to each other. I've created an absolute castle, which has two bases inside of it by itself. I've got a base on the outside, which I'll showcase to you the entire thing. And I'll give you a few tips and tricks. If it's the first time you've seen this of how this was built. Okay, so this is the main entrance. As you can see, I'll give you a fly overview in a quick second, people. Let's go. Okay, so as you can see, this is the outside area. Let me close that in case any stragglers come in. There we go. So you can see it's just a, a base. I've got a few things here and there. Actually, you know what? This is just full, this area was full of trees. The area was absolutely full of trees. Now, if you want to see the coordinates, they are roughly around minus two seventy-three to a forty-seven, and the other two bases, which are on a nice flat piece of land, are. Uh, minus 257 to a 39 and minus 259 to a 59 so yeah okay so as you can see right here this is the outside area now like i said this place was actually full of trees i spent about a good hour knocking down all these trees and quickly building foundations on top of them well, i've had the bushes come back through and I actually like the look of the bushes i was going to go up a level but i like the look of the bushes so more green the better my little outhouse, you know what I mean? My little TV there. Nothing special inside here, guys. Just where I rest my head at night. Watch a little power TV, you know what I mean? So, yeah. So, on my right hand side, as you can see, I've got a few ranches there. Uh, we've got a farming area here in regards to crops, wheats. Uh, I've got loads of these throughout my entire base because all I'm doing now, guys, is breeding. And I need ingredients for breeding for those cakes, as you probably well know yourself. So, the more of these I've got, the better. And I've got a ton of them absolute ton of them um to be honest the base is so big i'm not short of anything but i'll give you a quick rundown of all oh my days i'm over encumbered what's going on here get out of there there we go okay so left hand side is where the electric uh, is generated in the fridge uh, just a little power area for them to go to sleep you know what i mean and chill out you know what i mean over there again i love the look of the area because all the green actually I added it to my castle as you can see Castle is absolutely massive, guys. I know that's what most people are interested in. That thing took me an absolute lifetime to build. As you can see, I tried to get it as castle looking as you possibly can. The problem is there's no like tops of buildings you can make pointy, like the top of a church or a castle. So I have to like make do with just throwing slabs and bricks together. But yeah, so as you can see, this is the one base. There's one power box right there. And now guys will go up into the castle don't know what he's doing there is has he got the glitch where it's just constantly dropping wood oh well i actually got lucky because these ain't interconnected but the way i built my up my first two bases side by side i've come up out of that base as you can see put two foundations down and i've come down it's lined up perfectly with a nice other bit of flat land I actually didn't know it was flat initially because there's so many trees here, but I knocked down all the trees and it was flat, perfectly flat. Looks amazing at night time, by the way, guys, with all the lampposts and lighting and things like that. And also my my fire pit up there looks amazing as well, which I just made a little hole in the wall, put down loads of fires because they never go out. So inside here, guys, we have the inside of my castle. This is floor one. Now, again, if you saw my initial video, I actually initially had a pub there, uh, my own bar. And you could go upstairs to the first floor. But I've knocked all of that down because the problem what I was having was on both sides here is German tides getting stuck on absolutely everything. I took down most of the lampposts. Um, it's, it's a bit better, I'm not going to lie. Things ain't getting stuck as much. 
but hey, they still get stuck. You know, the path in this game is absolutely horrendous, but yeah, there's actually a door in here, by the way, which you can close. Like that, there we go. Um, okay, so we'll go over here on the right hand side first. Now, this is basically where more crops are, are basically farmed, made and farmed. All those cakes, the lowers of these going down here, guys, as you can see. Chilling area, still the official chilling area from day one. Uh, this is like the workstation area, all my workstations. Um, we have just st general storage. These were, there was actually walls all around here, like high walls. Problem was, once you spawned, you didn't have to log in out. All your pals would literally spawn on the spot and they all got stuck on the walls. So I had to knock them all down. They don't get stuck on the storage, but they get stuck on the walls. Over here we have my official mining sites and my lumbering sites. A chilling area over there. Um, we have my condensation machine right there. More genera uh, more electricity being generated right there. We have one breeding farm where the pals sleep. Um, and yeah, so we'll go over to the other side. That's actually this is what I actually love about my base. I can just literally slingshot to the other side, just like so. It's so easy. And there we go. On this side, we do a lot more of the growing, which actually not longer. Um, just made a ton of cakes. I've got about two thousand cakes now. This is all because I've got so many of these crop plots and wheat and ranches all over the place in my bases and things like that. So yeah, see, German I can actually get around here, which is better. Initially, although it looks a way prettier before, I mean, all the add lampposts on every corner, lighting absolutely everywhere. German tires were constantly being stuck and it was doing my absolute heading. So here's two more ranches. Uh, yeah, ranches. I was going to say farms, then but ranches. And there is my first power box. The other power box on the other side. And actually, guys, I should explain this for people who didn't see the first video. So I've built two bases side by side. And I know people will want to see this. This actual area is completely flat. Now, what I did was initially from the left to the right, this area, I knocked down a few trees that are there. I tried to judge the middle of it. I haven't got a measuring tape or nothing. I literally just tried to judge uh, the center of it. I put down one power box, just like so. And then I constantly put down foundations all the way along. And I mean, constantly, guys, until I oh, got to the edge of the area. I got to the edge of the area, so I constantly went down this way, way past where that power box is. I went down here and I went literally all the way past about another 200 yards that way. Then, what I did was I pulled out another power box at this time, I only had one down. I pulled out this, I turned back around, and I followed the foundations right the way back until it said. You cannot build here, you're too close to a, another base. So then what I did was I stepped backwards a bit. I kept coming back until I could put that power box down. And that's what I did. And the distance between is about four foundations. You can see where the one outer diameter is to the other. It's about four foundations or so. And I've got DK turned off. So I ain't got to worry about things outside of the diameter decaying over time. I've got it turned off people. But yeah so yeah okay then should we go upstairs upstairs is my farming my farming level so let's go and as you can see i have about 12 or 13 farming um my well, breeding pens up here i say farming level a breeding level i mean i've used these so 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 much i've changed it i like the open space to be honest i love how spacious it is got so many spare eggs I've done that much breeding I think these are all yes yeah, sh uh, shadow big I've created so many shadow bigs astigans unbelievable we got to a point where I can't use condensation machine anymore I've got no more to level up so yeah so this is one section of it and then we'll go around to the other section which is just literally across here I need to put the roof back on there by the way because when I actually built the castle I took them down for something, I can't remember. I probably needed materials. Okay, so yeah. And this side we have more breeding stations. So it's quite a few here. And again, it's lovely and spacious. I could probably put down a couple more if I wanted to. Okay, and as you can see, the, the third level, I actually had another floor up there. 
but I just had nothing to put down. I just I, I can always build again, put the ceilings back in and have another level, but I've got nothing to put down. So if you guys want to give me some suggestions, let me know down below. Okay, so in here we have my little sleeping area again while watching my TV. Get that work done. Go on here, guys. Take a shit and go on Twitter on my phone. There's a tree growing in the middle of my, my bathroom. That's all good. I run out of toilet paper. I know I'm wiping my ass and I'm sharp ass leaves. Okay, so out here, go, well, this going down here is down to the first floor. Everywhere, there we go. And we end up back down here, guys, where it were. So, yeah, it's all interconnected. It all connects to each other. So let's go back up. Let's go back up and I'll show you my living room, my sitting room, which is out here and in through here. Just like so, another chilling area. I can watch over and make sure shit is getting done, you know what I mean? <laughs> so yeah, that's basically that. And we can go back up to this, uh, the farm or the brooding area again. So yeah, let's go up here and I'll show you. This is made like a balcony of pure lamp oil. So at night it looks amazing, which is why I did it. So yeah, now we've got back out here, guys. We're out to where my other third base is. So I'll show you the castle. Where's my jet wagon? There he is. Let's go. So if you come up here, guys, you can see it's massive. I know it's mainly for show. I've got rooms up here. Uh, I've got a lot of um, viewing stations up here. You can see this side. I actually start side on it. Oh, I can hear a shiny. What is that? Uh, why not? Why not? We might as well catch it while we're here, people. Might as well waste a megasphere on it. If I can even see where it is. I can't see where it is. My game's glitched out. Come back here. I threw one I missed. There we go. Come on, catch. 9% catch rate. Come on. Come on, game. You know, there's so many shiners around this area as well. So many shinies around this area. We yeah, actually create this castle. I started this castle on the other side and I wasn't quite happy with it. I was looking up images, uh, castles in Scotland. And a lot of it were like circles and rounds and it's hard to build them because everything in this game is square. So as you can see right here, guys, I've just literally created circles. It took me ages to get them lined up perfectly on each side. But as you can see, it's looking quite good. I probably didn't finish it, to be honest. I'm probably going to add more things. Hey, like my floating fires, pretty cool, quite easy to do. Um, but yeah, now if we go down to the other side, you'll see it looks drastically different. It looks more like an older building on this side. But yep, as you can see, I kind of went a little bit over the top with the the water, the greens that hang down. I can't remember what they're called, but I thought you know what, I actually quite like the look of it. So yeah. So that is my castle and again I can up on the top floor and um, it is like viewing cages which I'm, I actually did have pals in here but I've moved them yet so yeah and then guys we can even fly down straight down to the bottom if we want to Boom. there we go and there we go I've actually got an exit on this way as well, this side as well so let's go and check that out this just leads you to more flat land which i'm probably gonna knock down and build something kind of we'll see we'll see about that i close the door there we go so let's go back out Woo. actually short i didn't show the fire did i if you look at it from this side you can see that's pretty cool pretty cool and there we have it guys that is my base three bases together um, I think I'm the first to do this, to be honest, that I've seen anyway. It's quite a view. Absolutely massive. Just how we like it. So spacious. And so I know actually people are going to be thinking, what happens when you go out to farm? I've got an Astagon. I don't think I've got him on me. Oh, this is not him, is it? Let's have a look. Okay, so this guy here is utterly brutal. I'll bring you a guide on him. I actually made a video on him about a week ago. But um, this is a better version of it. He's, I mean, I can be surrounded by about 10 nodes, all nodes, one lightning strike, and this thing destroys them all. I accidentally did it in my base earlier and broke half the base. I shiz you not. That's how powerful it is. It breaks things for fun. 
plus you use it here guys it's it's breaking everything so yeah but there we have it guys that is an update on my base and a lot of you guys uh were interested in my base uh, the first time the initial two videos are uploaded loved it but now it's changed drastically uh, and it's much much better much bigger in my opinion still got work to do uh, the building still looks a bit how do you say plain uh, hopefully in a future update add more decorations you can add to things but yeah there we have it guys my pal world base and well i hope you enjoyed the video if you want some sort of tutorial or guide or you have any questions let me know down below i'll be sure to try and answer them but there we have it guys guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like it really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more power world be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one